Sasan Kubiari as uh, director of uh, PLM and digital transformation. Uh, today, I'd like to talk to you about uh, expanding uh, your PLM capabilities with the investment you've made. You've already set up your team center uh, and you've trained your engineers, you're using it, uh, great job. And then now uh, I'd like to show opportunities how you can go beyond the basic um, kind of data management possibilities and CAD data management into a much more advanced capabilities with your existing team center um, implementation. As, uh, as you all heard about digital threats and digital twin, um, Siemens has a very rich end-to-end -end solutions that starts from product ideation, marketing and requirements, goes through the design, uh, manufacturing, quality, uh, customer delivery, and, uh, and provides the end-to-end uh, -end value to the engineering and manufacturing organization. So that digital twin is very rich, is very uh, robust and matured many years with different industries. Um, so as, as you have implemented Team Center, now you can start uh, taking advantage of the capabilities that digital uh, threat will bring and uh, to your organization. You may be at the start level implementing the foundational PDM and wondering where do I go next? And of course, it all de depends on your business objectives, priorities, and we can definitely work with you on that to develop a roadmap. But you can you can go beyond document management, change management, bill of material, manufacturing process management, uh, into requirement management and, and, and in integration with different enterprise solutions. So I'll go through some of those uh, advanced capabilities that can be added to your existing teams and environments. Um, and then we move through the digital maturity from level zero to level six. And there are a lot of capabilities I mentioned uh, that's gonna be uh, mentioned here. For example, we start with uh, your CAD data management. You've already have that in place. And then you're actually looking at your engineering bill of material. Uh, by deploying Team Center, you have a robust, secure CAD and document data management. Now you can follow the design bomb into engineering bomb, manufacturing bomb, service bomb, and beyond. You have bomb alignment between CAD design activities and engineering and manufacturing. And I'll go through some examples of uh, some of those capabilities. For example, Team Center is typically used for managing the design and engineering bomb. As a result, companies spend lots of time creating a middle silo for enabling EBOM driven digital mockup. EBOM configurations and part data are pulled from EBOM, while geometry and position data are pulled from design bomb. It should be noted that the middle silo does not use the proprietary format of the authoring design CAD system. It typically uses JT, and often the analysis achieved in middle silo are limited to only clearance and collision. Organizations that cannot afford to build, maintain, and operate the middle silo struggle to perform any EBOM driven digital markup. We often see significant issues that results from disconnected and silo-based systems. We see difficulties on collaboration between engineering, manufacturing, and execution. Manufacturing users often struggle with complex systems, not easy to use, um, and difficult to manage and maintain. And then there are questions that, uh, why do we need MBOM? Uh, and then how, uh, where do we actually use MBOM? Where do we maintain that? Uh, what we see is usually the EBOM is owned by engineering department and will be available for manufacturing department as read only. This is of course not good enough for, for the manufacturing group as they need to author the data. For example, they need to add manufacturing parts like glue, oil, and such. Another difference is that the EBOM actually represent the product architecture and it's 
is built according to the organizational system and functions while the MBOM will be organized according to the manufacturing assemblies order. So it's important that you have that uh, synchronization between the EBOM and MBOM and then allow manufacturing engineers also to get involved with the, the, the process in the same uh, environment. We expand from EBOM to MBOM to manufacturing process down to the plants, all connected digital threads from engineering to manufacturing and to the plants. And those are all capabilities available within the single environment uh, in Team Center, digital threat solution sets. Another uh, major uh, module that can be taken advantage of when products are increasingly becoming more complex and customers are demanding greater individual choice, Team Center product config introduce and maintain variability across product suite of, of your uh, uh, pr product and manufacturing operations. It allows the selection of features that are most important to customers. For example, your company makes car for North America market and wants to expand to Europe. For England and Ireland, cars require a high right, right hand steering wheel and transmission controls. So you begin by listing these features in a configurator dictionary. This way you can define the variability of your entire product suite. You can then reuse the common features across different product lines. Another uh, important uh, module that can be added is Team Center helps with capture and maintain and share requirements very upfront, which can be, al which can be um, aligned with your design activities, providing a single secure source for all requirements. Team Center supports live integration with Microsoft Office applications, and Team Center requirements integrator enables the import and ex exchange of requirement documents from other tools that some organization might be using, like DOORS and TCSE and, and other industry standard requirement interchange format uh, that can be exchanged with, uh, with Team Center. So a lot of the requirement documents you may already have in different format can be imported into Team Center requirements. And then there another major area of you've already implemented uh, Team Center for MCAT or mechanical CAT uh, data management, but then there's also, you have an organization which is ele electronic CAT. So streamlining the data management is essential to satisfy the time to market demand or today's complex electronic design. So product development teams require an integrated approach to data management that combines mechanical, electronic software and simulation data into a single collaborative environment. Siemens supports for electronic design management integrates the tool, data, and processes that facilitate collaboration. And then there are many different uh, integration points with Team Center and your existing uh, ECAT system that I've been using. You may be using Altium or Allegra Capital and others. So Siemens have the integration points with those uh, systems and then allows the ECAT and MCAT actually talk to each other. Because the engineering and design stage happens first, the product data needs to be accurately documented in PLM before ERP can receive the information. Product definitions may undergo frequent change, mostly during product development, but sometimes after the product is released to manufacturing as well. So you have the PLM software that helps manage product data from start to finish. So in PLM, you manage your design data, documents, project management, change management, workflows, all of that information which are best for PLM system to store. But in your end-to-end -end process, you do have uh, other information, for example, the customer data, the marketing management, sales management, that's your CRM. CRM may be another database, another system. So then, of course, there are some, some of that uh, information may be shared between the environment. Then you have your manufacturing execution system, which then you have your work order management, the KPI tracking for cycle time, 
operators training qualifications that are, that are stored and managed in that database. That is another enterprise system. So then again, uh, sometimes the Siemens also has solutions for MES in addition to PLM. So it can offer that, but then some organization may have a different uh, application managing their uh, manufacturing execution system. And of course, every organization have a ERP system, which is your finance, your inventory management, plant maintenance, purchasing. Those are also very important. And then when you look at all these different uh, systems, which are very important enterprise solutions for your organization, there are common data set between them, order, ECO, items, bomb information, inventory, effectivity of bomb, routing, costing. So then um, how can we be able to integrate the data, make sure we have single source of truth of the data in these systems and then be able to collaborate. So Siemens offer a very robust and advanced gateway solutions that allows Team Center, the PLM system, to talk to multiple enterprise solutions. SAP is being one of the uh, most used ERP system, especially in the large organizations. And then we have NetSuite or uh, D365, which are Oracle-based or Microsoft SQL-based. And there are gateways of available that makes that uh, integration. Siemens Team Center offers the Team Center active integration solution with multiple enterprise systems. ERP and PLM systems talk to one another with the help of integrations. Integrated systems enable seamless data transfer from one tool to another, allowing important product information to follow from PLM into ERP and beyond as manufacturing begins. Operating with solely ERP will result in a gap in manufacturing process. There would be no organization um, of that that can actually uh, manage all of that into one system. So then what we do is we we be able to provide the team center active integration solution to bring all of that together, in, integrating the data set between the different enterprise solutions and you have a bi-directional capabilities. So you can contact uh, our team center experts to show you the different options and solutions available for integrating your PLM systems with other enterprise solutions you might already have. And then of course, suppliers are an integral part of any company in any industry delivering products and services. Integrating suppliers into product development process is critical for a company's success. In some cases, uh, there are data sets being emailed or delivered to suppliers and there's always confusion of, are we using the latest versions of data? How quickly can we uh, exchange data and collaborate information? And the most important thing is how secure is this mechanism of the transfer? The uh, Siemens uh, Team Center integrated supply chain and supply integration solution set that offers multiple solutions for different uh, capabilities required. Supply integration in Team Center enables collaboration on a global scale between uh, your company and your suppliers or customers. From product planning to development to support, Siemens uh, solutions supports uh, each of these interaction requirements to provide companies with the tools they need to achieve these collaborations. So there are Partner Connect for high interactions geared toward OEMs and partners, and there's Supplier Connect, which is uh, recently released uh, in a couple of years ago, which provides a package based on data exchange between OEMs and partners. Each one of them has its own uh, configuration and system requirement. And definitely you can contact us at Saratech to get into deeper into those solutions and, and uh, give you advice which one of these may be best for your organization. And then another, as we move, move along your digital thread, then another area that is very important is the cost, the, the product cost management. So Team Center has a very uh, advanced product cost management 
that focuses on uh, four major capabilities. Team center product costing provides enterprise-wide platform for creating and managing calculations and captures the company's internal costing expertise centrally. And we have product uh, team center tooling costing that, that customers can calculate and manage cost of tools which are required for multiple te technologies in discrete manufacturing of injection molding, die casting, stamping. And then we have um, another module or capabilities in, in the PCM is Team Center Carbon Footprint Calculator that follows the same bottom-up analysis workflow for emissions, aggregating or relevant emission factors of the product part along the value streams. And then, of course, uh, prof profitability calculations in Team Center that executives can secure product investment by predicting future unit costs and prices over the entire product lifecycle. Team Center reporting and analytics helps get you into production with PLM analytics much faster than competitive tools based on its understanding of team center the tcra is specifically developed for team center that understand the team center data model and has a very tight integration with team center to give you uh, the reports that you need uh, we also provide with over 100 pre-configured reports that you can use right out of the box these reports can come from uh, lessons learned from working with customers and what they found useful, working with team center development teams to extend the value of products and working with industry teams to support uh, industry standards. So there are many more modules that we can get into. Uh, so I talked about some of the capabilities that you may want to get into right after your initial PDM foundational implementation, um, which are definitely works works with working with EBOM, MBOM, um, product cost management, schedule management, um, and uh, requirement management. And then these are some other areas that I'm not going to get into details of them, but I can definitely Give you more information uh, if anybody would like to get more detailed information on each one of these capabilities. These are all again integrated modules with Team Center. You can bring your material database and have integrated material management. Advanced visualization can give you a lot of capabilities based on your JT data and be able to look at your small to large assemblies. And then uh, you have uh, we have a quality management system which is separate modules of the product cost management, but also that quality department can get involved with that. Technical publication, there is, there is a module called Cortona 3D, which uh, allows your technical publication department to leverage all the capabilities from design and CAD, the 3D or 2D CAD data that comes in, integrated with the technical publication module. And then, then anytime there's changes on design or CAD area, then it can be um, updated uh, with your technical public Cortana 3D publication system. And then uh, there is a very advanced, comprehensive model-based system engineering module within Team Center. Then again, take advantage of the CAD models, engineering bomb, requirement management, and then gets into the other areas of model-based uh, system engineering. Simulation and CA is very strong integrated with Team Center, and that itself, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of webinars that, that you have seen with Saratech that talks about um, CA and simulation capabilities within, with, uh, within, within the Siemens digital solutions. Schedule Manager um, is another module that allows you to do product uh, uh, management throughout the life cycle. Again, that is all tied with your uh, CAD data management system. So anytime there is there is a there is a 
task done or CAD data done, then it can be pretty much integrated in the same environment. And then uh, lastly, the Mendix, which is a capabilities to automate and customize some of the applications you like to develop with Siemens solutions, which are no code application development environment. Very strong capabilities that can uh, give you competitive advantage of creating your own integrated capabilities outside of what Siemens already offers but that satisfies specifically your own uh, uh, requirements for business applications. So digital twin technology is one of the fastest growing concepts of Industry 4.0. The economic value of digital twins will vary widely depending on monetization models that, that drive them. Uh, we're going to have increased reliability, improved productivity, real-time remote monitoring, increased product performance, and it's all about connected data from requirements, product planning, system engineering, manufacturing, and all the way to physical model. And the, the other important elements, if there's a lot of uh, modules and capabilities, of course, is there, but we need to look at uh, specifically your business needs um, and where you are with your implementation, what stage you're in, and then start moving into uh, extending and transforming the, uh, the business capabilities with moving from fundament foundational PDM into other areas. Uh, so it really needs to develop a roadmap and then look at the ROI for each of these uh, stages to uh, be configured for your business objective strategies and uh, organization. So is not um, one kind of roadmap that fits everyone, but it all depends on where you are, what kind of systems you have, what enterprise solutions you already implemented, uh, and then we can definitely develop that roadmap for you. Okay, I'd like to leave some time for questions at this point. Yeah, so we do have a couple questions. The first question is, um, do we need to buy an additional new additional software licenses for these modules? Some of the capabilities already exist with your base team center implementation. When we talk about visualization, managing um, eBOM, and uh, some of the other advanced methods in integration of BOM, those are all uh, can be there. But then when we get into some other advanced modules like requirement management, a full change management, or um, uh, product cost management, team center reporting, the ERP integration, that's where some of the software, uh, new software licenses are required, plus the implementation services. Um, the good news is that you already have a very rich foundation, a team center, you just already spend the time and effort and training to to have already a very very strong platform to uh, be able to build them on, on top of that. Thank you. Okay. Um, next question: How can we go deeper into some of these solutions? Sure. So plus, um, uh, we need to definitely have a session to get into your current implementation uh, stage where you're at, and then um, and then look look at uh, your business strategies and business uh, roadmap so we do have so let me that was a good question so let me share with you um, uh, the Saratech business process assessment so we work with your team to identify and prioritize pain points develop uh, multi-year process and technology implementation roadmap and really focus on um, your business needs and and follow a very rigid process of uh, the, having a, a, a rich discovery questions, interview multiple departments, capture business challenges, develop ROI, and then we can develop recommendations and roadmap to support your business uh, process capabilities growth which are needed. And then, um, 
develop. But these are examples of uh, how we kind of go go along with uh, developing uh, the uh, kind of those initiatives and and based on the ROI and business objectives and complexity of the implementation, then we can develop uh, the charts for you. And then um, the uh, successful uh, implementation is really based on your business needs. So uh, we have a, um, a, a very robust and mature uh, process that uh, can work with your organization, with your key uh, executives in different departments to understand the business strategy, the business capabilities required, and then put together a process and uh, functional requirements, technical specifications, and then come up with a minimum viable product roadmap for 2B stage, and then develop the multi-year roadmap and show you how we can actually achieve and get you into the maturity uh, level that you need to, you want to be in the, in the few years. All right. Okay, that was it for questions.